In this video, you'll see how to deploy an AWS Marketplace Container product on existing Amazon Elastic Container Service, Amazon ECS, clusters. With this solution, you can easily discover container products in AWS Marketplace, subscribe and deploy container solutions on Amazon ECS, and manage those deployed resources with AWS Service Catalog App Registry. To perform all the steps you're about to see, your AWS environment will need an active Amazon ECS cluster that's provisioned with at least two Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instances or worker nodes. For demonstration purposes, we've already set up our environment. We'll begin in the AWS Marketplace, where we can easily discover products. There are more than 10,000 products listed. Let's narrow down this list to show only container products that support Amazon ECS. Now the results show 500 or so products. Let's search for a specific vendor. For this example, we'll search for the third-party vendor, Aqua Enterprise Platform. Let's go ahead and subscribe. Now let's continue to configuration. For the delivery method, we'll select Aqua Enterprise Platform for ECS. We'll retain the default software version setting and continue to launch. Now we can choose how we want to launch the software. In this case, we'll use the CloudFormation template to deploy the product. Here, we can specify the parameters of this new CloudFormation stack. Here, we'll provide the name of our existing ECS cluster. Next, we'll specify the ECS cluster security group. Next, we'll select the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, or Amazon VPC, that this product will deploy into. Next, let's specify all the subnets that the ECS cluster utilizes. For our purposes, we'll specify the Aqua LB subnets to be the same as the ECS instance subnets. Next, we'll enter the IP address that will be used to access the Aqua console. Finally, we'll specify a password for the RDS instance. Acknowledge the message regarding Identity and Access Management, or IAM, resource creation, and create the stack. Over the next 20 minutes, the stack's deployment progress can be monitored here, in the Events tab. Now that the stack has been created, let's go to the Outputs tab to find the link to the Aqua console. Just like that, we can access the web endpoint of the container solution and start using it. Next, let's look at how you can manage your organization's container applications using AWS Service Catalog App Registry. App Registry allows you to create a repository of applications and resources launched using CloudFormation. You can then define and manage your application metadata. In this case, two applications have been manually configured in App Registry. Let's drill into the Aqua Enterprise Platform application. Here we can see the resource details. Let's take a look at the attribute groups. Here, we can quickly determine whether the container was acquired from AWS Marketplace, as well as what security classification the resource has. You've just seen how to deploy AWS Marketplace containers on existing Amazon ECS clusters. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.